I'm very pleased to be here today and to make um, uh, the lecture title of the Making 100% uh, Renewable Energy University, so our university. My name is Susumi Teshima. Um, I'm an associate professor at Chiba University of Commerce. I um, started teaching in 19, uh, 2019. Before that, I has been the, uh, uh, the business uh, for more than 30 years. Uh, the first I was a consultant with, uh, uh, now it's called Accenture. Uh, I was an IT uh, consultant and also a business process consultant over there. After, uh, after working for five years, I went to uh, uh, London to get an MBA. And uh, after coming back to uh, Japan, I mostly worked for um, small sized uh, venture company. Uh, one area is uh, uh, web analytics and the internet marketing. And another area is um, renewable energy uh, development. And then actually, um, uh, Chiba University of Commerce was one of my client. And I conducted a feasibility study in 2015 and, um, and how this project, uh, this is how this project started. Shiba University Commerce is located in, um, um, in, in, in Ichikawa City, it's next to Tokyo. Uh, we have over 6,000 students. I think how many students are here? This is about 3,000, I think. Yeah, so, uh, and uh, the campus is, 109,000 uh, uh, square meters. That means uh, we have twice as many students as ICU on a campus that is one sixth uh, the size. And we have uh, um, uh, the solar power plant about 25 kilometers north of campus. So it's very far from the, our campus. And our motive, wh why we are doing, um, it, the reason we are doing is to create 100% renewable energy society. And it's more like, uh, there are a lot of um, um, the goals uh, within SDGs. Um, this number seven is a clean energy, and then number 13 is climate action. But um, we uh, stress on the number 12, the responsible consumption and production. Since we are they're using energy uh, with uh, CO2, uh, the carbon emission, uh, we are responsible for making clean energy. Uh, at least as much as uh, we consume on campus. And if every organization uh, does the same thing, uh, we can create a 100% renewable energy society as a whole. Uh, to achieve this goal, it's very simple. Uh, we need to do only two things. What are they? One is um, the reduction of the energy consumption, uh, cutting the waste, the usage of the energy. Another is increasing power generation at our own premises. It sounds easy, but it is difficult to do that. So 2015, we conducted a feasibility study. Uh, to see whether or not we can achieve 100% renewable energy. Uh, we listed up uh, the many things. We think up on uh, the using uh, the film to the window or uh, introduction of uh, LED lights. Um, they replace um, uh, the heating system to a more uh, energy efficient uh, machines or something like that. Um, so we'll itemize the, the, the all 
the, the possibilities, the options that we could think of, then while you calculate um, how much energy we can save by doing that, and of course, we need some uh, initial investment, the cost, then calculate payback period. And at that time, the LED lighting is the, uh, uh, the best way to achieve our goal. So, oh, okay. And in 2017, um, we have a new president, uh, Dr. Harashina, and he made the, uh, this project as one of a president project. So he lead, uh, he's leading uh, this project even now. We have two targets. One is by March, 2019, uh, we try to uh, uh, generate more energy than uh, power consumed on campus. Uh, this is only for electric power only. And target two is by March uh, 20, 2024, uh, we try to generate more energy than power and heat. Uh, we use uh, natural gas on campus. So calculate the, uh, the energy in gigajoule and we try to exceed uh, that amount of consumption by uh, uh, generating uh, with a photovoltaic on our campus and uh, the solar plant uh, 25 kilometers away from the campus. This is our trajectory uh, to the goal and the, the orange line is the um, uh, renewable energy rate. And the green line is um, the rate of uh, power and gas. So 2019, the, uh, January 2019, uh, we could achieve 100% renewable energy uh, with power. And June 2020, we could achieve um, renewable energy, 100% renewable energy with power and gas. But um, you know, 2020, the mid of 2020 is uh, under the COVID-19 and the few students uh, came to uh, the campus. That is why um, the energy consumption dropped down. So we could achieve 100%, but this is like an uh, uh, unofficial the record. Um, I used to be an uh, athlete. Uh, I was a hodler, 110-meter hodler. And it's like, um, um, how can I say? like a the wind assistant record. So it, it is not official. So we um, choose to the target to, uh, as I said, 2024, and hopefully uh, we have a normal life uh, maybe next year uh, so that we can um, make our official record of 100. So this part, um, the percentage fluctuate uh, when uh, the students come to uh, the campus, uh, the line goes down. And um, if we uh, use more online lectures, the line goes up. So we barely keep the over 100, uh, but we don't know um, how it will be in next year. So currently, our number is 103%, uh, percent, so it's okay. But as I said, um, at the moment, like 70 to 80, um, the lectures are on campus, the physically, but um, roughly 20 to um, uh, 30 lectures are online. 
if it becomes 100 uh, physical lectures, we may go down to uh, less than 100%. So um, we need to uh, keep our effort to reduce um, the waste usage of energy. And this project is a campus-wide um, uh, the project. Uh, the students are uh, get involved. The faculty from uh, different the department uh, joined, and we have um, a subsidiary company called the CUC Support, which um, maintain the uh, the campus facility and the CUC Energy. I will talk about this company later. By the way, I'm. Um, this year, I'm a leader of this project. Now, um, I will tell you what we have done so far. Uh, we care about three elements. Uh, one is our hardware, it's, uh, like a photo photovoltaic or ma uh, uh, machine, uh, LED lights and something like that. And a software is computer software. And hardware, uh, it's um, Dr. Harashina's word, and the meaning it's a mindset that drives action. It's, um, we need to act, but the people are important uh, on campus, they're students and faculty. First, energy saving parts. Um, as I said, replacement uh, of lights are the most uh, the effective uh, way of uh, reducing um, the energy. Uh, we spend like um, three million dollar to change uh, the lights from uh, fluorescent light to our LED. And the, the second one, uh, this is the, uh, the student's proposal. Uh, one of um, the, uh, one group of students um, uh, that conduct the, the, the research and there were 38 the vending machines. And they checked that each of them, uh, how many drinks are sold on one particular uh, the vending machine. And they recommend that um, that and that vending machines are not used very often, and so they can. Um, you know, they told their told us to uh, uh, take uh, them off campus uh, to uh, uh, for energy saving, and also um, the old machine consume more power than. Uh, the new uh, type of machine. So students identify that uh, machine and that machines are uh, very old. So we should uh, change them with a um, uh, new machine. And the university uh, listened to uh, uh, the students and um, they called for uh, uh, the vending machine companies and the students make a presentation in front of them. And uh, the company's people are understood and they cooperate uh, to change uh, the machine. And we set uh, the temperature in a, uh, one degree, um, higher in summer and the lower in winter. Now, I have a question for you. Um, how much energy we just save by replacing fluorescent lights with LED lights. Um, when lit for the same period of time, the power consumption of an LED is about a 74% of fluorescent light in the same brightness, B 50%, C 35%. So please raise a hand if A is the correct answer. Okay, thank you few people, okay. How about B? Okay, okay, thank you. How about C? 
Oh, thank you. Actually, uh, I have two answers. Um, this is, um, in, in Japan, when you buy the fluorescent light, uh, that is either FLR type or HF type. And so if you have uh, the fluorescent light of FLR type, it's, um, let's say if, if you have two, two tubes of FLR40, uh, the consumption power is 86. If you have HF type, uh, two tubes of HF uh, fluorescent light is uh, 65 uh, watt. LED uh, 31. So uh, it is about half of HF type and nearly one third of FLR. So LED light is very uh, uh, good tool to uh, reduce uh, power consumption. And so if you buy, if you change um, uh, the lights from HF to LED in, I think, like, like three years, uh, you can recoup your investment. And if you have FLR, you can recover that uh, the investment in two years. So it's good solution. Now, the second point is, how much energy does a vending machine consume annually? Uh, do you think, it, is it about the same as A, consumption of a uh, refrigerator, you know, a, average home refrigerator? B, total consumption for home lighting plus one refrigerator? C, total consumption of a single person household. If you uh, live alone, uh, you spend a certain amount of energy. That, that's uh, the answer C. Now, I please raise your hand if you think A is a correct answer. Nobody? Okay. How about B? Thank you. How about C? Thank you. Now, answer is that. In 2000, um, one uh, vending machine consumed about the same amount of power as single person household uh, uh, annual consumption. And 2021, uh, total consumption, is, uh, the consumption of uh, the vending machine is about refrigerator and household lighting. Or uh, it's almost the same, one refrigerator, uh, the consumption and the consumption of the lighting of the, uh, the one household is about the same. So uh, you can say two refrigerators also consume the same amount of the energy as one vending machine. How many vending machines do you have on campus? Anybody? No idea? <laughs> Please count. And if you think um, there is um, are a few uh, vending machines that are not used very often, uh, you can eliminate, <laughs> then you can save some uh, power. And that's, that's a student uh, proposal that the university uh, took. Now, this is a graph of uh, the vending machine uh, power consumption in 1999 to um, uh, 2019. In 20 years, uh, power consumption cut by uh, was cut by 78 uh, percent. So um, the the old vending machine they consume more power than the uh, new one. 
I, I told that the, uh, the CUC installed LED lights, um, like $3 million. Uh, this is what, uh, how we did it. Uh, we set up the incorporate the CUC Energy. It's a private company, it's a small company. Uh, and that company uh, borrowed uh, the, the money from the, uh, the, the community bank. And also uh, it get, uh, it got the subsidies from the uh, uh, national government. And we ordered uh, the uh, equipment company and the construction companies to uh, the build uh, bit and LED on the ceiling. And also um, uh, I told you about uh, the photovoltaic system on the roof. Uh, those facilities are um, the set up by this the company and these to uh, uh, CUC. So for uh, the people of uh, the university, decision making was relatively easy. What they can, what they should do is to compare um, leasing fee and in, in the case of LED, uh, the the university pay a lot of money for uh, the power. They they purchase the power uh, extern from uh, the power company, so they can compare w which is better. So they chose paying a lease because it, it, it's lower. The cost is lower than the expense is lower than the. Uh, uh, the amount of money they pay for the lighting, I mean, power. We introduced um, uh, energy, managing, energy management system. And now we know um, how much amount of the power is used where for what. It's a lighting and air conditioning is for uh, just one day from six, about 6 a.m. to um, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. By doing this, um, we could uh, reduce the power consumption by like 23%. Now, Another thing we should try is to increase the uh, uh, the power generation. Uh, at that uh, the time, uh, the beginning of the project, twenty seventeen, uh, we already have um, the solar plant in Nodar City. Is a picture on the left side. So we look at this picture, we found that there is some space. This white space. So we decided to add uh, the solar panels and we could increase the, uh, uh, the power uh, generation by uh, nearly 17%. The power generated at the uh, Nodar solar power plant, we sold that power to uh, uh, TEPCO power grid, but uh, CUC asked the retailer, the Minna Denryoku, to uh, purchase the power from our uh, Nodar plant with non-fossil fuel certificate with uh, with the tracking. With the tracking means the tracking 
uh, the power plant. So uh, the retailer specify our node power plant uh, to purchase uh, the, uh, the electric power. So now we use our own power, but we have only uh, photovoltaic, the solar panels, uh, but we need power uh, during the night. So we ask them, the retailer, to purchase um, some other uh, the means of uh, renewable energy like um, uh, the wind or biomass or hydro. So about half of our power uh, used on campus comes from uh, Noda, uh, Noda, Noda uh, solar plant. And this is 7 a.m. So uh, during the daytime, we have uh, a good day. It's the time of adding the panel and uh, at the beginning of the this project, uh, we didn't have a battery. So um, we could use uh, our power only at daytime only. But now uh, we um, the installed some battery now. I I'll talk about it later. And this is from January to December. And the, the dark orange line, uh, the part, is power from um, uh, our Noda solar plant. And this is the, uh, the graph by uh, uh, power sources. The yellow is photovoltaic, and the blue is wind power, and the light blue is hydro, and the green is biomass. So the mostly uh, photovoltaic and wind uh, our source of power used on campus. Now, the, that's the uh, uh, power plant, like 25 kilometers away from cam campus. Now, I will talk about the, uh, the solar panels on the rooftop. And 2019, we tried to uh, uh, mount the solar panels as many as possible. Uh, and we found we can uh, do that on the uh, 10 buildings uh, of rooftop. And we have, like, like these pictures, uh, three type of um, the setting. The left one is facing east and west, and the middle is facing south, and the right one is at almost uh, the panels are set horizontally. And in total, we have 448 kilowatt. Why we um, put the solar panels that are facing the east and west instead of uh, facing south. Uh, there's only one building uh, with the solar panels, panels facing south like this. If you put um, uh, the set of solar panel the facing uh, south, you have shadow the panel cast the shadow uh, to the uh, the north side, so uh, we need some the space for to making up the array. But if you put uh, the solar panels the facing the east and the west, we can use the the space of the the roof. Uh, almost all roof uh, uh, available for uh, solar panels. So we want to um, maximize the amount of the energy we produce within the, the limited uh, 
the space. So we decided to uh, this type. And the solar generation, uh, the power generation pattern during a day isn't much different. Uh, doesn't make you know the difference. So almost the uh, orange line is the panels facing east and west, and the blue line is uh, the the power generation uh, facing the south. So it's um, almost same, but uh, a few percent to uh, like a fifteen percent. Um, the panels the facing east and west. Uh, the the amount of power generated by uh, the panels facing east and west uh, lower than the panels facing the south. But as I said, we could um, the place more uh, panels on the same the space. So we decided to that type of uh, uh, the mounting. On the rooftop, um, oh, by the way, uh, to do that, we get subsidiary from the government, uh, 28 million yen. And total, the investment was uh, about 127 million. So we need to pay um, uh, the, about 100 million by ourselves. Calculate thing um, the the unit cost of power. Uh, it is much lower than the price we pay from power companies. Um, actually, for about fourteen yen per kilowatt hour. At that time, we bought like. A, more than 20 yen from power company. So now um, making power on the rooftop is much lower than uh, buying from uh, the power company. Even now, it, it was the, uh, uh, three years ago, but today, do you know how much uh, What what is the price you're paying right now at your home? Do you know anybody? Probably more than thirty yen or thirty five, sometimes thirty eight yen. But on the rooftop, you can make like a fourteen, fifteen yen. So it's half as compared to the price you're paying today. So uh, before mounting on the rooftop, uh, the students, the faculty are uh, inscribing uh, the back of the uh, solar panel, just for fun. So um, energy saving and also our power generation uh, makes the result like this. Before the project, 2015, uh, we con consume that nearly 1,500 uh, kiloliter uh, in crude oil equivalent per year. Now, 2018 or 19, we re could reduce the power consumption and we could create the, uh, the power at that amount. And on the rooftop, we are making the power. Something like that. And that was uh, 19, uh, 2019, we did that, but now, it is, uh, how can I say, uh, like a low hanging fruits. What we can do, we did everything. Now, um, 
we are getting into the very hard part. Um, it, it's not easy, you know, because um, uh, the, we could we already did uh, the effective the solutions. Now we have to uh, look into how, uh, what we could do for more. It's uh, getting more difficult and difficult. So look at we looked at the uh, the rooftop again, and I found there are still some space available. Uh, three years ago, we didn't use that because it's near uh, the, the the wall, and we have some shade. So I did we didn't uh, to use that space, but uh, we have no other way to um, uh, to generate more power. So we decided uh, to add uh, some uh, uh, two hundred thirty eight panels. Uh, again, on top of the the, the building, uh, the increase uh, to increase uh, the power, uh, that is approximately I uh, one point nine percent of uh, total uh, power consumption on campus. But still, it, it's fine. So it's nearly two percent. It's a, it's a big solution for us. Because other solutions, uh, like 0.1% uh, the contribution rate to 100% uh, uh, renewable. So 2% is, is very uh, big. It's uh, the good solution for us. And uh, additionally, we use the same the inverter. So what we did is just add the panels and if we calculate only by the uh, the additional power generation uh, the portion, the unit price of a power generation for that part is seven point five yen per kilowatt hour. As I said, you are paying like thirty five yen or thirty eight yen, and that part. We are making power at 7.5 yen. It's very cheap. It's reasonable. Now, we have a battery, Tesla, not car, but the battery. <laughs> uh, we have uh, like uh, 29 units in total and on campus. Um, for, for each, uh, the capacity is. 13.5 kilowatt hours, that's a, uh, you can charge your iPhone, uh, like 1,000 uh, smartphones to charge. So it, it's not large as compared to the, the total consumption on campus. And uh, uh, you, you cannot read this list, but um, this is a list of um, like a solutions uh, we are regularly studying. Every two weeks, um, our president of the university and myself and the staff from uh, facility management department and some staff from a CUC energy company are having the meeting and how we can reduce the, uh, the energy consumption, where is the, uh, the waste of energy or how we can improve our uh, the energy efficiency. Or... Now, this is in like over 90 items. Uh, we put the, uh, the idea and, and the list up and somebody follow, uh, colleagues, they, the cost and the effect, and if it isn't uh, enough to invest, then we eliminate the, that, uh, the option from the list. But if we find that there is a, some way to, um, to, to realize that option, now we uh, ask um, uh, the company to uh, uh, make our estimate, uh, get the estimate, 
And if you are not sure, we try to uh, make a, like a pilot in, uh, installation to see how much uh, power we can reduce. And if it, it is not enough, we try to find another way. So we um, uh, doing this, uh, this type of the meeting every two weeks for more than five years. This is a list that um, some of the list of like 90 uh, solutions. Um, even we consider uh, the, the reducing the amount of water of uh, the, the toilet flush. This water consumes a lot of energy. You know, in the, the building, you uh, bring water from um, the ground to uh, the top of the uh, uh, the tank on the, the top of the roof. So if you can um, reduce the, uh, the amount of water you use, you can reduce the energy consumption. Now, the student's role. Even if we um, the replace the light with um, uh, LED lighting, they're very efficient. But when you leave this room, if leave lights on, it's a waste of energy. So uh, it's very important uh, how people care about um, the energy consumption and saving energy. So we need to increase the awareness of um, the saving energy. So uh, the every summer, uh, students uh, make an event like uh, we call the Uchimizu. The Uchimizu is the, the sprinkling the water on campus and ask why don't you join us and the sprinkle and then um, uh, make some survey about uh, energy consumption and just to uh, um, the increased awareness of uh, the students. And the winter, um, they charge the, um, uh, the battery with um, uh, solar generated power and during the night uh, they make some illumination and by using um, uh, the waste uh, pet bottles and they make a, a, like a Christmas tree and this is also uh, an event to increase the awareness and some students uh, make uh, uh, archaeologies uh, there is a uh, the seal on the, on the switch of the light. And if nobody uh, switched off the light and uh, the, the heart uh, being broken. Uh, so if you switch off, then the heart becomes kind of, you know, the complete heart. And a boy and a girl are happy. We have a um, the grave vineyard uh, on campus, and uh, with the uh, the solar panel we call the solar sharing. Uh, the share uh, the solar the light with um, the grapes and solar panel, and uh, we. Are planning to make a wine uh, with the, the grapes we raise here. Uh, this is also a student activity. Now, um, I'm talking about heat loss in the old building or old house. Um, the majority of the heat go through the window. 
so the window insulation is very important. Like uh, in, during winter, if it's a, uh, this is an old house with uh, the single uh, glazing window, like 70% of the heat um, go through um, uh, that window. So um, the window is um, one of the, uh, the most important part of the, the house for insulation. So students, uh, the plan, the workshop, uh, they make uh, the internal, uh, the secondary window like this. They cut the, the form for uh, the, the insulate. It's the, yeah, cutting the form and put them on the wall. So they ask the, uh, the, the carpenters to cooperate and they teach how to cut uh, with a saw or uh, making a drill or something like that. And that was a two day event. And this is the, uh, the chart of the U value. U value is the uh, rate of transfer of uh, heat through a structure. Uh, if you have uh, just one, uh, the glazing glass with uh, uh, like aluminum, the frame, that's the worst type of window. It's the number is more than six, the U value. If you have um, double glazing, like two seats of glass on, on one frame, then the number goes down to like a four or, or three is better than the six. Now, um, I will talk about Renewable Energy University League. That's the uh, 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 we did many things at um, Trade University of Commerce, and there are also a, a number of universities that want to um, uh, reduce the uh, our carbon uh, emittance. So we get together to cooperate or teach each other and how to um, uh, reduce uh, energy consumption and how to uh, make uh, uh, the power from renewable energy sources. And your president, Iwakiri Sensei, is one of uh, uh, founding members, uh, founding the president of the league. Uh, he, I believe that he's a, a strong promoter of renewable uh, energy. So I hope that the uh, ICU uh, will become <laughs> Uh, hundred percent renewable energy uh, university, and this uh, there is also uh, the student chapter, the free of charge. If you are interested in re renewable energy or energy uh, conservation, uh, you can apply. And there are a number of students already uh, uh, become a member of. Uh, this chapter. So there's a uh, <laughs> uh, the, the web form to uh, uh, to apply. So please, if you are interested in, please be a, a member of this league. Okay. To summarize. I say that the, uh, there are some uh, key success factors. 
one is the uh, setting of the goal. 100% is, is very good. Um, and actually, I'm um, uh, teaching management, and there is a, a goal setting theory. That means uh, if you have a goal, uh, you are more likely to achieve, uh, you are, uh, you're more likely to be successful. So um, if you think you want to do something, set a goal, say that goal to other people. That's effective. And we keep, um, we ensure uh, economy effi economic efficiency. We want to be, uh, you know, 100%, but uh, we shouldn't spend more money than we should. So it is um, within the um, uh, economic uh, the boundary. And then the third one is the, uh, if you want to do something, don't rely everything on a large construction company. Uh, uh, they are good but they are very expensive. Um, so if you want to do something and ask at the large company, you know, how much cost they charge, usually very high, and you would give up uh, doing that. So um, try to find the way to do the same thing at the lower cost uh, that's possible. The another thing is set a multiple, multiple uh, year project period. That means um, many people told me that the, the solar panel is expensive. Buying uh, the power from the uh, the company is much cheaper. And I, I ask them, uh, why do you think so? It's that they say, they had a project, a research project like uh, seven years ago. Uh, they found that at that time, um, the making uh, with the solar, uh, making power with the solar panels are very, very expensive. Uh, but now the price is changing all the time. So you should, um, you know, uh, be aware of the, the current information and not uh, the old information. So if, um, uh, if you keep uh, researching all the time, you will find the way uh, you know, that uh, you, can, uh, you, you can achieve uh, at the end. And continuous review is important. Uh, we have uh, the meetings so, uh, uh, like 80 times last five years, uh, every two weeks. So um, uh, don't give up once you uh, consider something. If you keep doing that, uh, you may find a way. And if you convince your university people, it's important value created by that project is not only economical, you know, uh, the benefit, but also uh, it creates the educational value and also it's a uh, public relation effect. Uh, CUC is a private university. Uh, we sometimes um, uh, put the, uh, the ads to newspaper or magazine uh, by paying uh, the large amount of money. But we, we do uh, this kind of a project. Um, many reporters or TV crew uh, come to the campus and make um, an articles, uh, online journals or uh, TV a program. Uh, th that's value is, is very, very large. 
if we uh, want to uh, make a the similar type of uh, advert, we may we need to pay like a million dollar a year. But the uh, since we uh, conduct um, uh, this type of a project, we don't have to pay uh, to be published. Okay, now I think this is the last slide. Uh, thank you very much.